Welcome to Harmony Music Education's YouTube channel. So today I'm going to focus in on one of the main components of singing. Now, there's a few things that help us to really sing and sing well, but I'm going to start at the bottom, at the basis, at the foundation of it all. And that is breath. And I tell students this all the time. You are a wind instrument. You require air to make sound. Isn't that crazy? And of course, we all breathe without thinking. We're not thinking, oh, I must breathe in. I must breathe out. Right? No, we don't do that. But the thing is, we want to work on really using our full lung capacity. You want to think of your lungs kind of like a tube of toothpaste. You know how when you have that tube of toothpaste, you squeeze from the middle and you still have some stuff down at the bottom? Or when you start all the way at the bottom, then you get all that full goodness out of the tube of toothpaste. Well, it's like our lungs are a lot like that. Down at the bottom of our rib cage, there's a squishy spot right here. And it's called our diaphragm. And it's actually a really important muscle because it acts like our hand does at the bottom of a tube of toothpaste to push the stuff out. So when we get a big full breath, so you want to be really nice and tall with your posture, taking that big full breath in, one of the best things I do with students is I have them put, the, put their hands right here at the bottom of their rib cage, and they'll feel their fingers come apart. You'll feel that expansion right here so that Ah, now I've got that full breath so I can really let that air out. That's the best thing, right? When you breathe in big and full, you got that foundation. You got that air. So when I have students do this, the best exercise I have to do to stretch that sound, to really keep that air going, is I use two different ideas. So the first one is to take a deep breath in and let it out on a sound for as long as you possibly can. So let me show you. Taking that big full breath in. And I use all that air up. Now, the other way that I do this is I have the students do the same thing, breathing in deep, but this time going shh and see what happens. So let me show you. Breathe in. Then my follow-up question with students is this. Which one lasted longer? It was the sound because you can control the air just a little bit more as it comes out. As you're doing the shh, it's a little bit more of that forced sound, right? Because what you have to do is you're forcing that to make the shh sound. You have to force that air just a little bit more. But using that shh as an exercise can help you to work on controlling that sound. So that if I'm really focused in, taking the big breath in, You can make it last just a little bit longer. And the more you keep practicing at it, the easier it gets. It's amazing how it works. But that one thing, the breath, makes things so much easier to sing. Because when we're singing, we have to have that support to make the sound happen. Thanks so much for watching.